everyone, this is Bree from Breezy Days. So today I want to share a quick tutorial on how to blow dry your bangs, or at least how I do, um, how to put in your clip-in extensions, and how I curl my hair. And I'll share all the different tools and products I use to get this look, so I can't wait to show you guys. So first I'm going to start with how to blow dry your bangs. So I've always had side bangs because I did the straight across for a while and I got called Cleopatra, so no more. But um, I learned this trick from one of my hairstylist friends and I've been using it every cent ever since. So a uh, round brush and my handy dandy Hanna Air Dry. So what I do first is I piece out, ooh, that doesn't go there. Piece out where my side bangs are, all of that. And I start by doing that first. So I'll blow dry that real quick. So you kind of got a curve there, but you want to do a whole swoop. So in order to do that, so you don't get that kind of weird mess all the way down, then you actually blow dry it pull it across your face the other way. And pull it back over. Ta-da, there's your side swoop. Okay, so now that my hair is completely blow dried, then I can go ahead and curl it. So what I usually do is I clip up my hair. Well, before that, when it was damp, I would use the Paul Mitchell Root Lifter and just spray it in just because my hair is really thin. So I did that when blow drying. Then after, because my hair is too clean, I will have to spray in some hairspray so the curl will actually hold. It's super fun. But if you haven't noticed, I'm only wearing eyebrow makeup and lip stuff because I went to my American Heritage Lab today and did not give a rat's crap about what I look like. Because, who am I trying to impress? I'm already married, it's Provo, who cares? But, so I just use, trust me. I don't know, I always have to change what hairspray I use though, because if Ryan's cuddling with me and he smells it and he doesn't like it, then he's like, try new hairspray. So, I'm always trying different brands. But, so the trick with my curls is I always curl out. So, I'm always, yeah, I'm always curling outwards. So I'm always wrapping it around the outside because I want my curls to go out like that instead of in towards my face because that's not as pretty. But, um, so I use Paul Mitchell's um, Extra Large Pro Tools um, Curling Iron. It gets flaming hot, but I like it because I was never really good with the whole clip on a regular curling iron, so this works better for me. So, I'm curling outwards, I spin it, hold. So on this side, I curl outwards, so I hold it above, and I curl away from my face. And I don't use the little glove that it comes with anymore because I burn myself enough that now I've, I almost said that, that's <laughs> I myself enough that now I know how to curl my hair without totally burning all my fingers. Hold it for a little while and presto, there's your curl. And obviously, so with this wand, you can keep it concentrated either on the bottom part so it has smaller curls, tighter curls, or towards the top if you want more weight. Okay, so now that I have the bottom half of my hair all curled, so I'll start piecing this out and start curling. 
because I have lots of layers because I have thin hair and I like to have volume because I really don't need it for it to look like I have a pancake on my head. But so I just piece it out by the layers and I do the same thing. So I just curl outwards. So then the curl will go away from the face. I'll turn it up, or I'll spin it here, get it closer to the root. You don't want it super close because that looks awkward, obviously. Yeah. There's my curls, and I don't like super tight curls because that reminds me of a Shirley Temple. Couldn't think of her name at first, I was thinking Animal Crackers. That commercial they always have with them um, showing off the huge Shirley Temple DVD collection of her singing animal crackers and my soup. Wah! Bunnies and rabbits. Loop the loop. Yep, so see how it curls away from the face like that? It goes away instead of towards my face. So then I just pull it out. And I finished it up. So I have extensions. I actually got them at Sally Beauty Supply before I got married. And um, I wore them on my wedding day and then I didn't wear them for like almost two years after. And so, and then I finally took them to my hairstylist, Nicole, at Amara Salon in Orem. And I uh, just told her, I'm like, teach me how to put them in, like what to do with them, how to take care of them, all that fun stuff. So um, I didn't get them dyed because when I was living in California, my hair was a lot brighter just because I was out in the sun more. So um, my hair is always changing colors just because of, depending on how sunny it is outside. But So they're just clip-ins. They're already curled because I usually only put them in when I actually do my hair, go out on a date or have fun parties to do so or go to. So I just use these. They have little sewn-in clips in the back. The girl who did my hair for my wedding she uh, cut the extensions to the sides of my head, sides of the back of my head, so it's like, goes right there. And um, then she sewed in the clips for me. So, and uh, I'm using my Paul Mitchell teasing brush. And so what you do is you tease the holy tar out of the top there so your clips have something to clip onto. Let's do right there. And then it will feel like a total rat nest. And then of course you hairspray it. I hairspray anything and everything. Otherwise my hair doesn't hold. So I'll turn around and I'll show you where I clip them in. So it kind of stinks that obviously I don't have mere capability to be able to see where I'm clipping them in but kind of comb them out. I feel around where the teasing is. Oh, it doesn't feel like there's enough teasing there. So I'll put, we'll tease a little bit more there. And then, just swing this around and clip it in. So hook that into the teasing, hook that into the teasing, and done. There's my first layer. So next I'll take down some more of my hair to cover up the clips so I can put in the next layer of my extensions, which honestly I don't put in a ton because I don't want it to look like I have extensions in. A lot of people think it is my natural hair just because I have long hair. I just like to create more uh, 
more volume with the extensions as opposed to length. So, more fun teasing. It's funny because like when you tease your hair enough, then when you're out and about and you lay your head against something, it just feels like a huge cushion. So, the next ones I have, next extensions I have, it's three clip and it goes around the main part of my head. So it goes all the way to here on each side. So this is kind of what I do from the front side. I just feel out for where it's at and I clip those puppies in. Which I think last time I wore these was for uh, my Peach, my Princess Peach Halloween costume. That was super fun. Okay, and clip. So right now I'll just do those two extensions and then there's all my hair from on top and I tease that, tease everything. So I usually just take kind of the top thin layer, bring it forward and then I tease underneath so then it doesn't look super messy and ratty. So I'll pull that back over and then comb. So I'll do that over here, pull that up. I mean, you can put in more extensions on the sides, you can put more throughout your hair. I just know if I put too many in, then I might get the chance, or I might, they might slip out the clips. You might be able to see them, and that's not fun. Cause then you just start looking ghetto fabulous. So I'll comb out the top layer. And then, one of my new favorite hairsprays, oh, tease out a bit. One of my new favorite hairsprays is Not Your Mom's Volumizing Hairspray. Volumizing? Volumizing? Yeah, it's all the same stuff. So, let me go get it. So, this is what I like using when I tease. Not Your Mother's She's Tease. And I found that it works really well, especially with my thin hair. And then also, when I blow dry my hair and I don't do a complete blowout, I like to do beach waves, so I like the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Pretty affordable, got them at Ulta. They're my favorites. I'm kind of a kind of a hair noob, so I just get whatever other people tell me to get. But um, I do like this hairspray and it smells good. It's apple blossom and bamboo. So maybe that's what Ryan thinks smells weird. He has a little sense of smell. Anyways, so there's that. I'll do some teasing on my bangs. More volume, the better. Do more of a swoop. Swoop. There we go. And spray that. And then get all the hair. And then if the extensions aren't completely curled, then I'll go back. I go back and curl them after I put them in just then I can see what pieces need more curl and what doesn't, but there you go. That's how I do my hair when I go out and when I actually have a social life, which doesn't happen very much now that I'm married. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below because any tips or tricks I'd be more than happy to hear and I'm sure everybody else would too. So I will talk to you guys later. See ya.